turns got there eventually. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Thank you, Lewis. So, first of all, then, what's your reaction? These tax returns show that Donald Trump did not pay a great deal of tax overall. What's your reaction to that? It's truly appalling that the president of the United States had so little commitment to paying for our national security and other vital services that he thought it was okay for him to pay $750 a couple of years and some years absolutely nothing. He didn't pay at the rate of uh, a janitor or a sanitation worker. He paid nothing some years. But what, if, what, if, what, what, if, what if that was just because his businesses weren't making any money? Well, therein lies a big part of the problem with the failure of the Trump Internal Revenue Service to investigate and audit him thoroughly. We have about as many questions as we have answers. What we know from a New York Times investigation is that in uh, 2009, he uh, claimed a loss of $700 million, apparently associated with his failed Atlantic uh, City casinos. And he continued to carry that along uh, apparently, and at the beginning of 2015, he was still claiming a loss of $105 million. So by using creative losses, uh, credits, deductions that were never thoroughly analyzed, he was able to avoid uh, paying taxes. Well, and, is, is that uh, the, the fault? Is that, isn't that the fault of the system of legislators like yourself to try and simplify and make sure people can't uh, use different methods if you don't like them? You know, much of it is absolutely the fault of a Congress that uh, seems to be dominated by the super rich uh, too often and uh, large multinational corporations. And had the IRS done its job of thoroughly auditing, we could determine if this is just Trump, like many other ultra-rich people, avoiding their fair share of taxes, or whether there was uh, fraud that was committed here. We can't really tell that from what we have. The committee's inquiry was narrow. It only explored eight of some 500 Trump uh, business entities. Uh, the committee never was able to talk with anyone at the Internal Revenue Service, so we only have the electronic records. Uh, there's much more out there, but I think we have reason to complain when the Internal Revenue Service failed to do for Trump under his administration what the Internal Revenue Service has done with all our presidents going back to Nixon. Right. And what about the people who will say, listen, you're a Democrat, Donald Trump is a political opponent, this is a political and a politically motivated exposing of his tax returns? Well, I think that our investigation shows, and it was targeted toward finding out if the presidential audit system was working, that it failed. And that for people to have confidence in the extent to which it failed, they need to see the returns. But, you know, that kind of argument is just part of the uh, Republican cover-up effort. They blocked my motion for two years to get the returns. And then a Trump-appointed judge uh, held the case for years in addition to that. I think their opposition is really weak. But if they want more investigation uh, of uh, the way the Internal Revenue Service did this job or failed to do it, I'm all for it. OK, just briefly, before I let you go, what do you make of Donald Trump's reaction to the release of these documents? Typical Trump uh, evading his uh, failure to pay his fair share of taxes uh, and trying to blame others. Uh, there's nothing about this that applies to the tax returns of ordinary Americans. The president of the United States is unique in his situation, uh, in his power, in his ability to affect what goes on in our government and the world. And he should have been uh, subject to the same audit that applies now to Joe Biden and applied to many presidents before Trump ever, before America ever had the misfortune of Trump becoming president. Okay, Representative Lloyd.